California. Mm -hmm. The sunshine, the palm trees, the blue Pacific. This is fun and exciting. I can't wait to visit you guys with little Ethan. Once you set foot on that Malibu sand, you're never gonna want to leave. I'm sure I'm gonna be tempted, but you know, I can't live that far away from my family. Uh, I'm sorry. That was that was that was stupid. I, I mean, no, I, I should not. Have... It's all right. Are you okay? I just can't stop thinking about my family. The idea that I've really lost them, that my father's disowned me. Honey, he's gonna change his mind. I don't think so. He loves you. Not enough to want to see me happy with the man I love. If I could just sit them down and calmly talk it all out, maybe I could get them to understand this time. You know, there's only one way to do that. Call them. Come on, give it another try. Come on, baby, call them. Go ahead, call your folks. Tell them you want to talk and straighten everything out between you. No, I can't. I can't. Why not, no, honey? It's, it's way too soon. And Daddy probably won't even take my call, so just forget There's it. only one way to find out. No. It's hopeless. Just forget it. It's not. Okay? Things are gonna work out. You and Chad are in love, and that love is gonna get you through this. There she is, our friend Teresa, the hopeless romantic. And proud of it. No, but seriously. You did the right thing staying with Chad. I mean, I really believe that eventually your parents are going to see how strong and right your love is, and they are going to be happy for you. For both of you. I hope you're right, Teresa. Me too. I just want us to be a family like we used to be. You're the right man for me. You're the right woman for me. The only woman. It sounds really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. It's sure gonna be a lot different than growing up there in the hood. Now I'm going back there with the contract in my pocket. I'm maybe living my dream, making music. Finally doing something with my life. Hey. You've done a lot with your life. I'm very proud of you. Oh, just... <laughs> just what, 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 what's, what's so funny? Oh, there's a picture on there of a limo outside the Bel Air Hotel. It must be 60 feet long. Oh. You know, only in La La Land do you see something like that. <laughs> you have done a real 180, Fox. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're in this fantastic mood, you know, really up. Yeah, I mean, I was feeling bad for you before. You were so depressed thinking you lost the woman you loved. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, I was a little down, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing better now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It just hit me. I know why you're so happy, so excited about L.A. That's got to be where the woman you love went, right? That's why you have that big grin on your face, because she's out there. The woman you love is in L.A. Is that true, Fox? No, you're not going to get anything out of him. Fox is one closed mouth dude. Uh. <laughs> I just, I don't want to jinx anything. OK. Well, we'll make a deal. When we all get out there, the four of us will go on a double date. We'll go to that place by the water you were talking about. Yeah, you know, I would love to meet the woman that Fox is in love with. I mean, she must be something to capture your heart, right? She is. She's really something. Check on the <laughs> then what should we check on next? Um, mm, Sunset Strip. There's a lot of cool clubs over there. What? What, what do you mean? What happened? I, I, I mean, that's all that you know? No, I'm on my way. Is little Ethan okay, Teresa? 
Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's fine. Um, Mama just said that, that Phyllis left a, a message. And that Ethan is going to the hospital. Oh, my God. Well, what happened? Uh, I don't know. Mama said that, the, that Phyllis' message wasn't very clear, but I, I, need, I need to go to the, to the hospital. I need to make sure that Ethan is all right. I will drive you. Come on. Let's go. Well, tell them I'm hoping to be in the contract signing tomorrow, but it depends on how my wife is doing. Well, call me if there are any new developments, Connie, okay? All right, and I'll be in the office first thing. If everything's good with Gwen. Thanks. Oh, you did. Oh, God. I, uh, I heard that you were in the emergency room, but you were right. I thought that something had happened to you. No. No. Oh, Ethan, I'm so happy. Oh. 